had no intention of making a video today. And I went out shopping. And I came back here. Got myself cleaned up. I was blow drying my hair. And I just... I was just thinking. I mean... I hiked out of the Grand Canyon yesterday with a friend and her daughter. Spent six days there. And... It was like an escape for me. I mean, for that time, I wasn't hearing what was going on and the craziness. And then I come back home and it's all there again. Um, so I'm standing here thinking. And last year I hiked about the same time for 12 days solo. And I started writing on it and I had titled it 12 days in the shadows of the Grand Canyon because most of my days the sun came up but there was no actual sunlight on me or around me until 10 a.m. or so and it was gone by 2 or 3 in the afternoon so most of my days I spent in the shadows it was it was hard and the six days I spent there with my friend it's like we had the same sun but sharing it with a friend, you know, enjoying the experience together, it's like I seemed, I looked for the light that was casting the shadows instead of the shadows. I mean, it, it was fun. It was, I mean, we had a really good time. And then we hiked out yesterday morning I think we were out by 11:30 a.m. and she turned her phone on and, you know we're hearing about the election and all the controversy and it's just it's craziness and then it just made me think of the shadows and I guess Petra kind of nailed it in their song Road to, Z Road to Zion where they say where there's a shadow there's a light so even though it feels like we're living in the shadows right now for many of us, you know, there is a light. There is a light. There is God. And, you know, what better friend than him? I mean, hiking with a friend was, it was good for me. It made the experience of being in the shadows most of the day fun and exciting happy bad word but it wasn't depressing and I guess even though it feels like we're living in the shadows right now if we look to God we know there's a light we know there's a hope um, he is ultimately in control no matter what happens and I guess that was just my thoughts this afternoon as I was standing here blow drying my hair you know, after spending almost a week away from it all. And yeah, shop, I went shopping today. You know, yes, I did buy some of that toilet paper and a few other essentials that we would like to have, you know. But it's like, I can either live in the shadows or I can realize that there is a light and there is God and he is my hope and no matter what happens in these next four years and beyond he is in control and I don't have anything to fear um, yeah worry does nothing it just digs us into a big hole so I guess that are, the bleh, can't speak right now. I guess those are my thoughts. Um, no, I wasn't planning on making this. I'm wearing grubby clothes and whatever, but yeah, this is me. And that's how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking right now. So I guess later.